Taste Tour is back. Uh, we've got uh, another Garay Arriba or something. We've got, another, <laughs> oro. we've got another liqueur now. Like a Zorro. Uh, from sunny Mexico. It's imported from sunny Mexico. Not cloudy Mexico. Yeah. Not overcast <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Sunny Mexico. <laughs> I'll have a good sleep on this, this is, video. This is imported from sunny Mexico. Keep going. All right. Yeah. This is a uh, another liqueur. Ooh. It's a coffee Ooh. flavored liqueur. Yeah. Oh, that a bit okay. okay, I'm good. A delicious imported <laughs> coffee Ooh. liqueur made from the finest Mexican coffee and exotic ingredients. Do a copador straight or on the rocks? That's what it says. Do we have any rocks? Uh, so no. Basically, what this is is a. That's uh, a rebate. I know what it is. You're a rebate. I'm gonna get that rebate. <laughs> Basically, what this is is a um, a knockoff of the Kahlua, the the by far the major coffee liqueur uh, from Mexico. When was it started? Uh, this is twenty one percent alcohol by volume. They're pretty much all up as far as I can tell. Knockoffs of Kahlua. Um, I don't know. I don't remember this being very Kahlua y, but uh, well, it's a coffee that. liqueur. Yeah, but it's different. It's not a cream. It's not an Irish cream. Neither is Kahlua. Neither's oh, Kahlua. Kahlua. Kahlua is a coffee thinking, liqueur. Maybe. Was Kahlua the first coffee liqueur? As far as I know, yes. I'm not positive on that, obviously, but... Oh, Jesus. God, you suck. And boring. It's always shut up. fucking covered. Just shut up. So the Copa de Oro, liqueur de cafe, product of Mexico, coffee liqueur. We've got a few different, actually, uh, recipes. Yeah, Gato and agua. Okay, look yummy. It's actually really good. Yeah, the recipes they've got are Copa de Oro and coffee, which is basically... One ounce Copa de Oro to a cup of steaming hot black coffee. Uh, it just makes a real strong coffee. There's the black Russian. Um, white Maybe Russian is... Angelica, by far, white Russian is one of the most popular... Uh, uh, it's not on the back here, but white Russian as far as the coffee liqueurs go. This is black Russian there. Right. Uh, white Russian is basically that, just add cream. <clears throat> the heavy whipping cream. Um, it's really good. It's very sweet. Um... Mm -hmm. But it does have a nice coffee taste to it. Um, huh. You know, I... Uh, Where's the note? It's tasty. Well, of course it's going to be good. Oh, oh, it's it's awesome. oh, those apples. Delicious, of course. Of so basically, um, <sighs> it tastes like a really sweet, uh, somewhat potent... I'm just going to... Mix a little bit here. There you go. Somewhat potent uh, coffee liqueur. It, it, it's. I really don't know why people spend all that extra money on Kahlua when yeah. you have something like this for nine or ten dollars. Is Kahlua really that expensive? Kahlua is like twenty three bucks where, for this. Where do they make Kahlua? Really? Kahlua? Mexico. Mexico. Kahlua is Mexican. Mexico. Okay. Echo. Mexico. I've, had, I've had a lot of uh, the the coffee liqueurs from Mexico, and they all taste to me pretty similar. Pretty similar. Pretty some close. some are sweeter than others, but overall they taste like coffee liquors. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I'm actually going to give this a, a, a 7.5 rating. Seven and are we reviewing this straight or after I hijacked it with the frangelico? Mm -hmm. We're doing it straight. 7.5 <laughs> 7. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to do 7.5 also. You had the frangelico and mm -hmm. I'm going 8.5. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 7. It's good. Ba good. Basically what we just did was we took the uh, liquor, drank it straight, uh, Added just a splash. There's uh, no rules on the taste store. No of rules. Frangelico, just which is right. that hazelnut liqueur mm -hmm. we've, re we've just recently reviewed. It really does make quite a nice little drink there. You can mix um, this shit with anything. It's Frangelico is amazing. But yeah. this video is not about Frangelico. No, it's Copa de Oro Liquor de Cafe. Copa de Oro. If I had a son, I think I'd name him Frangelico. It's not a bad name. Not a bad name. Think about it, guys. Think about it. 7.5 for me. What would you rate it? 7. What did you get? I can't remember. Uh, seven, seven fives? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Seven five, seven five, seven point zero. Uh, the Copa de Oro. It's basically a Kahlua. Um, Copa de Zorro. It, it's a oh, well, it's a coffee liqueur. It's basically a Kahlua knockoff, um, and it's about it's under half the price. Honestly, if you're gonna do some mixing and stuff, it really does not matter. Get something like this, and this is one of the better ones from, from what I remember. So mm -hmm. the Copa de Oro. Good one. It uh, tastes good to drink. Yeah, yeah, even straight. So that's that sums it up. Good stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, as much as he doesn't want me to say anything like that, that's it for the tip off taste tour this evening. We'll be back with more uh, very soon. Uh, for now, though, until we do get back to everyone, just keep on clicking them videos. Enjoy everything you see. 
Any questions, comments, anything like that that you have, go ahead and let us know. And uh, any suggestions for trying new beers, you anything send, like that? Send some free shit. If you want to send stuff, right. go for it. I don't care what just, it is. Uh, send free shit. Just let us know. Tidwell Taste Tour will be back uh, very shortly. We thank you and uh, good night, good evening, good day, good morning, whatever it may be for you when you're watching this. And uh, enjoy.